G'day and welcome to Adapt Crypto, where we bring you the hottest gems. Today, we have Troy Kimberlin here, the creator of Snafu. Mate, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm uh, Troy Kimberlin. I uh, created this uh, like edu- education uh, platform with my wife, and I'm happy you guys are uh, chatting with me about it. All right, mate. Well, tell me a little bit about your project, uh, uh, specifically the name Snafu. Uh, by definition of Oxford, it's a, a confused or chaotic state, uh, a mess. So tell me about why you chose the name Snafu and how it sort of links in with your project. Yeah, so Snafu is just like a fun take. Um, you know, there's, there's always those moments where, uh, you know, maybe like the dog ate my homework or in this case, the dog ate my video essay. Um, where your, your, um, you know, your project just doesn't really turn out the way you want it to. Uh, so each week, while obviously we want people to, the, the main goal of the platform is obviously just uh, to educate our um, community mem- members on a set topic each week. Um, but if, you, if your video doesn't turn out or if you have some funny take on the given topic, uh, then you can also qualify for the Snafu Award. Um, so it's just a fun way to... Um, kind of make the plat- platform a little bit less like master class, like we're all a bunch of geniuses here or want to be geniuses just to have a little bit of fun with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. And tell me a little bit about the project and where do you sort of see it long term and where you want to, where do you and your team want to take it? Yeah, you know, um, if, if we only achieve one goal, uh, I just want to, you know, remove the kind of stranglehold that politics and, you know, um, corporate interest has on um, the education system. Uh, you know, I think wherever you are, uh, there's some sort of propaganda that kind of seeps into your education system. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if um, our community can just kind of decide this is what we want to learn each week, and then educators can come in and teach them. Uh, those topics and then the the community chooses which educator does the best job Uh, and then uh, that would all be stored on the the site and you can go back and and review what what has been learned um, each week Uh, so that that's really if that's the only thing we achieve that would be amazing all right well that's uh, that's pretty cool so you've targeted the education industry why have you chosen uh, the education industry for your platform right um my my wife and I we um, I grew up in, in America and and we met in Hawaii actually uh, and we moved our family over to Tokyo and it's just kind of interesting to see the way uh, students learn here um, versus the way what I learned in America and uh, the, the kind of different takes on topics as well um, like for instance uh, not to get too heavy here but you know like uh, nuclear energy uh, nuclear war um, just seeing what students learn here about those topics obviously is much different than what we learned in, in America, you know? Um, so I just think it would be really cool if, uh, if we had these kind of big topics on the platform and a student in America could see how a student in Japan answers that question or a student in India answers that question. And then you can kind of get this broad sense and kind of level the playing field of the educational system across the, the whole, you know, internationally. So um, that's, really cool. that's kind of the goal, and that's why we targeted it. Yeah, excellent. All right, and um, how have you, how are you sort of tailoring your marketing strategy to get in with that education industry? What's your link in there? Right, right. So um, I mean, we all obviously have a link to the education system in our our local area, um, whether it's our kids or or just the schools that we went to. So, so we'll capitalize on that. And, you know, I've been, I've been doing sales uh, online and, and over the phone for like 13 years now. So I'm more than happy to call, uh, you know, schools from where I grew up and, and here uh, using our connections here in Japan. And, and my team, we have, we have a team about 10 people around the world, you know, Mexico and, uh, you know, United States, Australia, Europe. So we'll all kind of do that and contact uh, the education systems in our area and try and get professors, teachers, and then students to join the platform. And maybe they can even host their own kind of side contest for their, their uh, schools or their, their like science class or what have you. 
Um, and then obviously we'll spend some money marketing to, you know, educational YouTubers as well, um, you know, maybe sponsor their videos or, or hopefully we can get them to actually join a contest. That would be really cool. All right. So you, you touched on the video essay platform a little bit. Now reading through um, some of the medium posts that you've posted, you mentioned there's three stages within uh, Snafu. One being the video essay platform, which will be the first stage and you've got the community collaboration and then you have the micro loan and scholarship. So just talk to me about the different stages, how they sort of differ and uh, you know, what's the purpose of them. And, and if you could link a little bit about the token itself and how they sort of fit in there, uh, that'd be great. Sure. The, the second phase I think is, is going to be very important and, and uh, rewarding for um, the community. Uh, it'll be kind of, it'll basically be a Fiverr uh, clone where our community members can offer up their services to make educators videos more accessible um, to our community. So whether you're a, you, you know, you can translate a video into a different language or, uh, you know, virtual effects, uh, music, music, adding music to the videos, whatever, you can offer your services on there. Our community can offer their services and um, educators can pay them. Uh, and, and, you know, I think I'm thinking about even adding the maybe the platform will also help subsidize that payment as well. So the platform will actually pay the freelancers for providing those services. The token itself, it's not going to be one of those things where, you know, if you just have 20,000 tokens in your wallet, you can use the platform. Uh, it's going to be more like spin the token. You can vote on um, the topic in the topic pool. Uh, you can suggest topics and each, each time you do something on the platform, it's going to cost a token. And since we have a high supply, uh, the token cost is going to be low. So it's not like you're spending $5 to vote on on a on your favorite video or suggest the topic of the week. And I, you know, I think that people will be willing to pay a couple cents each week to upvote the topic that they want to learn about, because it's, it's genuinely rewarding. Um, if we have a decent team of professors and educators and maybe even you know professional youtubers that will be providing educational content you're going to want to have a voice of w what topic they cover each week and then also you can um, create your own side contest if uh, you your friends want to have a contest or if your classroom does if you're a teacher what have you so and, and then something that we are also adding sorry um we, we are going to do so there's a contest history section where you can go back through and search through the catalog of contests. Um, something that's been suggested to us, and I think it's a good idea by our community is uh, maybe we will have it be if you want to access that contest history, maybe that costs so like you need or not cost, but if you need to have like 20,000 tokens in your wallet or something. Because that will be basically like having access to the entire like master class database for free and our community will have categories categorize that based on which uh, video is the most in informational. So um, it'd be much easier than searching through YouTube for these things. So uh, I think that's, that's a good way to reward holders, you know? Yeah, yeah, I definitely see the use of the token there. So that you've touched a little bit about some of the spending that you have for marketing. Um, give me just a quick breakdown on just the tokenomics. What can investors sort of expect, you know, putting his money on, on you know, potentially pre-launch or on-launch if they want to, you know, potentially support you in your project. Yeah, you know, man, uh, so our token is going to have a 10% tax on sales only. And, and, and uh, if you add to the liquidity pool, uh, that will also be taxed. So basically anytime you're sending NAFU tokens into the liquidity pool, you're getting a 10% tax. 2% of the ta that tax is going to be reflected to holders. 2% uh, of that tax is going to be locked into the liquidity pool forever. Uh, and then 6% of the tax is going to go to rewarding uh, liquidity pool providers. So, and I just really like that because it, it will allow people who, you know, maybe can't afford to buy a lot of tokens. They do one week maybe because that, because something really, one of the topics really interests them. So they want to participate in that weekly contest. Um, and then they just keep a couple tokens in their wallet. Well, after a month of just sitting there, they'll be able to, start participating again because the reflect tax will, will have gotten them some tokens. So I think it will kind of encourage people, don't just dump all your tokens, hold them and collect that reflect tax. And I think that will help the uh, the price as well. 
yeah, hundred percent. If people hang on to the tokens within the liquidity pools, right. it's uh, exactly. so it's yeah, stabilizes and, and, that price. It's not going to be just a pump and dump. Yeah, that's great. Right, and the liquidity pool too. Like like you said, the the liquidity pool getting rewarded as well. Um, that's a whole other factor is because we're going to have so many people um, earning tokens. You know, from the freelancer uh, application, and then also our educators. So. I'm sure that those people will probably sell so that they can they can have their their weekly income. But even if they're selling it and kind of hurting the or you know at least suppressing the token price a little bit, that's okay because our liquidity pool providers will uh, harness six uh, percent of all those sales. Yeah, absolutely. And the the longer that you have your investors uh, mentally invested, not just uh, financially right. invested, but mentally invested into the project, the more support you'll get, uh, you and your team will get because they'll come up with, the, they'll be around longer. They'll be come up with better idea, you know, ideas for the project. Sure. Um, they might even support some of your marketing through, you know, your, your social media platforms as well. So yeah, I, right. I, 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 uh, I really agree with, uh, with those tokenomics there. Yeah, for sure. Let's just say I've just loaded up my, my MetaMask with, heap of uh of your snuffy tokens where do i go to yeah and that topics pool i think that will be the first thing that people will want to interact with they can upvote and downvote the given topic and then you, you, they can also suggest a topic as well so then they can kind of they'll they'll be able to dictate what they learn each week and from my experience that's like that was the most frustrating part of the educational system and um, then, like I said, that contest history tab there, I think eventually, you know, initially I'll have, that'll be free to access, but it, eventually I think that'll be a very valuable tool and that will cost, you know, maybe that will be kind of like a membership thing if you hold a certain number of uh, tokens in your wallet. Yeah, and, and this is, see, this is how, um, where you can create your own uh, side contest. And I think this is cool too, for, for so many different reasons. Like um, if you host a film club, you can create your own, side contest and kind of have all your members create a video about you know why they like like or you know about your movie of the week or whatever or a science teacher could use it for their students to, to uh, present their you know science fair projects uh, there's so many different ways you can things you can do with this like you could, you could also come together with the snafu community and get like 20 different people uh, in our telegram and pull together your snafu tokens create a contest about like how to code a smart crowd track or something and you could get a whole bunch of different people teaching you about that that topic and you wouldn't have to pay for a master class and then the community could all watch those videos and, be, and agree like this one's the best this is the one that everyone should watch and then those side contests will actually go to the contest history tab so you'll be able to you'll be able to search through that contest history tab and find those and it'll be it'll be you know then you'll be able to see the videos that are ranked like this is the best one you know so I think that will be that will be very valuable in the in the short term. You know, m maybe people will sleep on that feature, that contest history feature. But in the future, that will be very valuable, and that will be something where holders will will get access to that only. So, you know, we're we're, we're working. We're going to have a we'll have a team page added, so then you'll be able to see my LinkedIn, and, and I think investors like that to be able to know who who's behind it, and and, and also you know because I'm I'm going to be reaching out to to schools and stuff. They they want it needs to be transparent. Um, so we'll have that added, you know, besides that, we're just, we're just finishing up. I want to have the platform like hundred percent ready to go. I know that the community will probably like once a thousand people ape onto this thing and, and just go, go to town, they'll probably break it somehow. And that's fine. Uh, I want to at least have something for them so that the token doesn't just die as they're waiting, you know? And then on launch, are you going to have, uh, some demonstrations? Are you going to, I know you did mention a YouTuber, uh, or some sort of influencer will 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 demonstrate your project, but uh, on launch, you know, I reckon it would be a really good idea if you were to start having, you know, start having those contests or those topic pools, uh, or suggest topics, you know, and, and demonstrate the 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 pro the product as well. And I think that'll um that'll really help with the uh, the project's launch. Yeah, dude, you you hit it right on the net, the nail on the head. Uh, um, I'm gonna make sure I'll I'll keep pushing up that topic. Uh, but people who have been coming in here and testing it, it, it's pushed down. But there's one that's how to snafu. Um, so I'm actually hiring some freelancers to create videos about how to snafu. Um, and then and then whoever wins that contest, I'll I'll put that video here on this page, the how to snafu page. This is just a, a space filler that my dev has my developers threw in there. Um, but that that'll be the first contest will be 
uh, how to snafu um, and then we'll just kind of break down how to use the website it'll, it, it'll also explain how to buy on uniswap and sell on uniswap because of that 10 percent tax that will you know so I'll, I'll hire a bunch of freelancers to create videos and then I'll, I'll drop them all in there um, for people to watch and then and then vote on which one's the best and we'll throw that on this page so hopefully I do know it's a, it, it's a pretty you know it'll take some learning um, to use uh, so hopefully those videos will help yeah, excellent. Um, that's really cool. So I guess the only thing uh, like we haven't really covered is what's your, how are you, when you're engaging with the, uh, the non crypto minded people, how are you going to sort of turn them on to the concept of, you know, potentially blockchain, maybe you don't have to talk too much about blockchain, but the token itself, you know, what does that mean to them? And, you know, what are your thoughts and how, or what's your, what's your plan of approach to the, the non crypto minded people? Right, right. Um, you know, well, for, first of all, I want when we we mentioned those that I'm gonna have, I'm gonna use a large amount of the the pre-sale F to build uh, phase two and three of the platform, and and one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna get built there is a uh, interface so that they can swap directly on the platform. So that should help them. R regarding the gas, um, we kind of came up with a pretty decent way to avoid ha having to pay gas with every single interaction on the site. You'll actually just deposit your, your tokens one time onto the website um, in that my, my account tab there, and then it will track like every transaction you've made, and that will be where, we, where you get rewarded as well um, if you enter a contest and win a contest. Or, and, and also that's the other thing, we'll, we'll also reward good voters. So if you vote on a video that winds up winning a prize, we'll pay you um, double your token so that, that you spent to vote. Um, that, that just kind of rewards our users, you know, who, uh, who actually watch the videos and actually pick the video, the best video. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll just deposit tokens on here and then, and then they're, just, they're just digital representations of, um, of the token. So you can, you can, click as much as you want and that's the other thing that's cool too is like in that topic pool people can just go to town and click up vote up and that's fine that's that's fine you're spending your tokens uh you just know demonstrating that earlier <laughs> right right and, and, you know and they're they're you know i think i think at launch i'm i'm thinking the token price is going to be about one cent you know um so it's not going to be anything crazy that they're spending how far off are we from your 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 pre-sale and and your launch? Yeah, so so my the smart contract is done, um, the platform's done. Um, so now the smart contract is with the the front end dev, and she's she's just uh, linking them into the um, to the website, and um, and I think she said she'll have that done in four to five days. So we're looking at you know um, maybe December fifteenth at the latest. To, to open the pre-sale uh, and, um, you know, get That's our, get our marketing way. in line. Right. That's, great, right. That's excellent. Thank you. All yeah. Right. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah, no worries. All right. Well, I, I want to thank you very much for coming on to Adapt Crypto and, and, and talking about your, your project and your, your passion. You obviously have passion there. Uh, it's been, it's been excellent um, for, for the viewers, all the details. If you want to get in touch with Snafu or be involved, or, uh, you know, or just be a part of their community so you can actively invest in the project. All the information will be linked in the description below. Uh, thank you very much, Troy, for coming on. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. There you have it, team, a project that is tackling the education industry, a market that hasn't quite been tapped into yet. If you like the concept of the project, let me know in the comments what you think. Another day, another play. See you next time.